Jay's Journey, Day 9. Here we go. Hey everybody, how's it going? Today is day nine of Jay's journey and I hope that you're following along and I hope that every day that uh, you're, you're watching, that day that you're on on your journey. So the corresponding day of your journey, watching the corresponding uh, video here. That way you don't just blast through it all. I know everybody loves to do the binge watch and just blast through it, get through like all 20 episodes or all 30 episodes at a time. And it's like, no, slow it down, slow it down. And that's kind of my topic for today. Today, I did do a quick little video of uh, just getting ready in the morning. Uh, today was just a home day because it was Sunday. So it was just, just chilling. And I just did uh, one drink prep at the t at the morning, and then uh, the rest I just did on the fly as the day went on. So definitely uh, check out this video, and uh, we'll get back to you in just a little bit. All right. Hey everybody, how's it going? I'm here to talk to you today a little bit about slowing down and being mindful about, you know, like, like you always think fast food, you know, I used to just like eat so much so fast. And now that I'm not eating as much food, when I do eat the actual meal or, or what have you, or my snacks, I'm really taking the time to enjoy it flavor wise you know, chew it properly instead of just like half chewing it and just, just filling the hole with more food. So um, I hope that maybe along your journey too, you're finding that um, your time with food is, is a little, is, is, is very minimal uh, because, you know, you got shakes, boom, boom, take care of two thirds of your meals and then you just have one meal left and then, you know, you're used to spending three plus hours with food, eating food, sitting down, you know, in front of a plate and, you know, with, with beverages and consuming food, you know, an hour every meal plus snacks. Um, and now it's down to like barely an hour. It's like, you know, wow, I, I have a smaller portion size going on. So I'm like, okay, tonight we went out for celebrating my wife's birthday. Happy birthday, Amy. And uh, it was great. We went to a great Greek restaurant. We had some great food. It was delicious. And, you know, I really took my time eating it and everything about it was just great. But, you know, you just have to slow down and enjoy it. Because food is meant to be enjoyed. So definitely enjoy every single morsel of food that you're putting into your body. And make sure that it's, you know, good food. But sometimes you're just celebrating and you're having food that is just super tasty. And enjoy that. Because obviously you're not eating as much of it. Like normally we would have barely any leftovers. And today we left there and there was a lot left over. And I'm like, oh, yeah, I guess if I'm not eating you know, even a third of what I was normally eating, um, then I guess I would be like, oh yeah, I guess we're gonna have a lot of leftovers. So uh, not that I'm hungry. See, this is the whole thing. Everybody thinks, oh Jay, you must be so hungry. I had a buddy come to me and he said, man, I was scared, man. You said you only had one enchilada instead of a bunch of enchiladas. And I was like, dude, it was great. I was already full. Like I was coming into the enchilada situation on a on a you know a 75% full tank already and that was just from drinking shakes that day so definitely with this system you are not depriving yourself and you're not starving and you're not hungry and you're not craving things the nutrition in this is giving you all the nutrients you need so your body isn't saying hey i need this nutrient uh the only way i know how to get it is if you uh cr if you crave this and then you're going to go out and and get me that food and put it into the system and then you're going to satiate that need that i have uh for those nutrients or or that amount of 
um, whatever vitamin or chemical that you do need from your food. And that's where the cravings come from. The cravings come from your body sending a signal to your brain that says, hey, I need more of this, get me more of this. And your mind interprets that as, hey, I need to eat this certain food or these foods or this type of food or I need to go to this place and, and, and be in that environment so that I can get some of that nutrient in there. And even if it's a poor source of that nutrient, uh, sometimes you're like really craving something and it's like, oh, that's not really a great source of anything, but the flavor's great. <laughs> so with this system, you're eating a lot less food volume, but you're already full all day long anyways. So you're not depriving yourself and saying, oh, I'm just running on empty. I need, I need so much. Oh, I need so much food. Oh, I can eat anything. It's like, no, I want to eat the good stuff that's going to keep that moving forward with those healthy choices that you've already made and, and help making uh, the better choices. So I hope you uh, understood from all of that ranting and raving and all of that talking um, that you are full on the system. You're always full on the system. Today I went out, we celebrated because it's my wife's birthday. She only has a birthday once a year. And, uh, you know, I, I ate food that wasn't exactly super nutritious, but it was all, all good, wholesome, homemade kind of food. And uh, I just didn't eat a lot of it. And that's, and that's the trick, right? If you do go out to a restaurant, just check your calories before you go. And then just pick out an option that's like, hmm, okay, that's, that's, in my, that's in my limit. I'll have that, you know. Maybe I'll just cut out the fries. Maybe I'll just skip having a soda. And I'll just have like the, just a water with it. I said soda for all my American friends. But really, it's pop here in Canada. We say pop. And then if you're really Canadian and you're really inclusive, you say soda pop. But that's just the thing. All right. Well, I hope you guys uh, have a great day today, and I hope you are celebrating every single day that you are killing it on the program. And I will see you again for day 10 tomorrow. Tomorrow is going to be a cleanse day for me. So if you're following along, I don't know, I did two days and then I did a cleanse day and then I did, you know, start your weekly cycle and then two days and then a cleanse day. So tomorrow is going to be my cleanse day and it's also going to be Monday. So I'm going to be heading back to work. So uh, I hope, you know, as I go through these steps, I hope that it's relatable and I hope that you guys are able to kind of transfer some of the stuff that, uh, that I'm going through into your own. And you know what, if, if your experience is totally different, let me know in the comments, you know, if you are, uh, you know, loving the cleanse days or if you're, you know, loving the shakes, what's, what shake flavor is your favorite? I know I've, I tried two shake flavors, so I got, uh, I got four different flavors and then I, I've been alternating between two and I was thinking, well, I, I could have been alternating between all four flavors all month long and I was like, ah, I don't know. And then, you know, you get a favorite and then you, you don't want to eat the one that you don't like the most or least or whatever, but I just stuck to two flavors. Tell me what your system is. Maybe you're mixing and matching one scoop of this, one scoop of that, see? like all these flavor combinations I haven't even thought of yet that uh, are totally right there, next level stuff. So we'll keep talking about it. And uh, tomorrow's a cleanse day for me, so I won't be talking about shakes. I probably won't be talking about that, but I will be talking maybe a little bit more about the cleanse process. And, uh, you know, nothing crazy. It's just three drinks and a cleanse-approved snack. Cleanse day-approved snack, which is just a uh, cleaner uh, snacks there and you can check all the information out it's all on isogenics.com it's all good and um, and we will see you tomorrow so have yourselves a great one and if you're on your journey and you've made it to day nine congratulations you have done it you are killing this and if you haven't started yet stop binge watching and start joining the journey because your journey could start right now